All right. Hi everyone, this is a real shootery game. As Sphere mentioned, or ZX mentioned before. It's uh, there are tons of guns in here and I'd like to show it to you all because the shots are gonna be fired. Also, notice the soundtrack. Uh, let's call this game... Shots. Okay. I'm ready on time. In three, two, one, go. All right, Ape Escape, Saru Saru Big Mission is... Yeah, it, it's something, it's different than the other games. And one of the better and more enjoyable spin-offs of the Ape Escape uh, series. And instead of catching monkeys with like nets and stuff, we're actually like, we're the helmets and we're mind controlling monkeys. And while we're doing that, we're trying to get to the bone of evil and, you know, Spectre, he's evil. Okay, so the story about this game is, well, once upon a time, we're literally just shrunk until we're like really, really small. And apparently all of our friends got kidnapped except for Spike, the hero of the first Apescape game. And... One of yeah, Natalie or Natsumi, she's known in the Japanese version, and we're gonna save them as well. And what better to do is that our laboratory actually, yeah, that, that's the thing that our laboratory actually is like a mind control helmet, and we're going from level to level just to get to the end. And the controls are Actually, pretty simple. You have your X button, which is jump. You have your triangle button, which is... Can I get this monkey without him... Without that guy killing me? Ah, uh, rip. So yeah, in the second level it is... There's this really fast monkey, and if you know your ape escapes, then it's really difficult to actually get one of these. So, of course, he's gonna get rested at the far end. So we're trying to hide ourselves until we're really close and then surprise but fucker for those that watch Dexter. And monkeys can't swim, so that's why we actually need the blue monkey to go over the water. And this game basically is like, oh, we need some monkeys to do some stuff. Okay, he can live. Just to get to the end of the level. Think of it as like, well, power up city. So right now we need to hide for this mermaid monkey, actually, to come to land. Because this monkey is the only monkey that can swim. And boy, swimming is fast, actually. Uh, here's where we need to go. And... That's it, actually. Every monkey has two attacks. And... Obviously, it differs from each monkey and even some mo monkeys with subclasses. So right now we've seen like the fast monkey, we've seen swim monkey, the monkey that hides, and the normal monkeys, which are the monkeys with the yellow pants. They don't do anything that special. Eh. However, this monkey likes books since this is Indiana Jones monkey. Also, tutorials. Heck yeah. Because who doesn't love Indiana Jones? Okay, so there's this monkey with a gun. Just for shots fired marathon. I'm going to grab him and go to the ending. Okay. Shot fired. Heck yeah. I just wanted to do that. Right up to level 3, which is a level with a lot of fire and a lot of wind. So in terms of speed tech, except for don't stop moving, there isn't really all that much in terms of glitches, but more like proper routing. Or uh, 
yeah, ru routing basically. So there's this monkey comes flying down since this monkey is the only monkey that can fly. <laughs> Shout out to airplanes, but yeah, monkeys. So yeah, this game came out on the PSP uh, nine years ago. And it's based on the engine from Ape Escape 3. Made by a studio that never made any games before. They went and copied the Ape Escape feel kind of good in my opinion. Okay, so now we are like one of those people that like have to fire for the Olympics. <laughs> and we need and we needed to solve some puzzles since uh, yeah, every platformer, I guess, needs some puzzle games. Uh, yo. And there are some other monkeys running around here. We don't need to catch them all. Just, and like, uh, or any number of monkeys. Other than the monkeys needed to, like, get to the end of a level. So, in that regard, it's really different than the main series Ape Escape games that you probably know and love. Yeah, this is an this is a PSP game and it looks surprisingly good for it. Also, only released in Japan. So the way I'm playing this now is with uh, with a PlayStation TV. Okay, so this is a little bit the boring section of this level where we just have to mash this button here. And go all the way here. And fall! That's also a good idea. Welp! So you don't necessarily need to go until the end. You can jump. However, jumping helps. It also helps if... Let's say that the button for jumping, which is unanimous in every Ape Escape game, is R1 and or R2. And only in this game, it's X. So we've done two of these segments where we just needed to wait. There were enemies there, but well. However, there's another one here. However, there is some clever speed tech here. So I'm uh, activating these in a special angle. And this angle allows me to like both hit uh, the fence and keep the enemies at bay. Since out of these mouths, you can see them on the wall. Enemies spawn out of there, but instead of fighting them, we're just we're just keeping them at bay. Okay, there we go. Could have probably jumped a little bit earlier. And that's the first fight. However, after every three levels, there is a boss battle. <clears throat> and the first monkey is actually the last monkey in every other Ape Escape game that has it. Uh, I need this monkey here. It's Red Monkey in like a robot thing. Okay, so he's not moving, so I'm gonna start. I need him to do the fire attack, which he did. And now I can easily beat him. The only reason why I actually got the, the gun monkey in the... what level was it? in the second level is to get a gun monkey which makes the fight like super easy otherwise it's like really really annoying and it can take up to like three minutes also shots fired okay fourth level which is a little bit low tier in terms of action I mean, we're going to work. Like, I don't know what you guys are doing. I'm ready to go to work, write some essays, do some magic with numbers. And this is just looking weird, I guess. <laughs> and we need this T-Bone Monkey for things to go fast. This monkey is not my friend today. Okay, whatever. We, we don't need him. Eventually he will come to us. Okay, this should be enough. Yeah, there we go. 
However, for this section we do need the monkey, so luckily there's another one. This guy has a bone in his nose. Damn, when I grow up I want to be just as cool as this guy. Watch out for fire a little bit. Because we need to do another fun platforming puzzle. Push the block on the thing. On the button. That's like unheard of. Okay. Now there's another blue monkey which we actually need. However, this blue monkey is gonna taunt us a little bit. So I need to catch him at a very specific... Oh, nice. Like single hit that guy. So if I can get his attention, maybe even height, that would be nice. Oh, we got him actually faster than I've ever got him. Yeah, he can run up these slopes like super easy. And that will allow us to do this level like real quick. Most of these monkeys are actually imports from Ape Escape 3. Except for this monkey! This is Biker Guy and... <laughs> I don't know why this makes it faster. It doesn't actually. But he looks like a biker and that's actually cool since he now has a hitbox in front of him. So this is not... So speeding up is an actual attack. And I need it for this monkey who will otherwise just throw me into the pits. Oh, and his wall I guess. That's level 4 already. So I wish I could use him through the entire game. <laughs> However, unfortunately, we have to like deliver the helmet to a stand. And with a helmet, I mean like the whole base. Like Get new monkeys. Oh yeah. Well, when beginning a level, you're actually like super small and one hit from the enemies can actually kill you. Or it almost kills you and five seconds later you're dead since the health, your health actually gets drained a little bit. Okay, that other motor guy isn't coming, so I'm happy. Never mind. Oh yeah, how are we gonna go up here? <laughs> gonna have an applause for Chameleon Monkey. The hero we didn't need. The hero we deserved. That guy just bumped into a spike and he just died. Cool guy. Oh yeah, Keith, mortal enemy. Oh yeah, that's also a staple in the in the Ape Escape uh, series, I guess. At the end of the level, the main character says Yata, but only in the Japanese version. I started running this game as a. Uh, I'm gonna tell this later. But first, a very hard puzzle. We did it. Yeah, I started running this, this game as a side project. I thought it was like really, really fun. But from Origins, I'm an Apescape 2 speedrunner. Yes, the same game that's opening AGD. Thank you, AGDQ this year. Yo, where's the wall? These bombs are. Awful. And I thought, hey, let's play some other Ape Escape games. And this one was kind of underplayed. And I, well, it, it is one of the best Ape Escape games. Spin offs, that is. Like, they, every main series Ape Escape game is amazing. I've also started playing Million Monkeys, which is another Japanese exclusive. But that game is hard as balls. Also, the puzzles are starting to get 
more and more difficult from one to three to five switches. Well, I think like the difficulty for this one is that a lot of enemies are swarming at you and your attack is really slow. So we need you need some enemy management. Since their attack is faster than yours. Okay, so now we need to grab this king guy. Somehow I got him. And open the key to the the end portal. And here another satisfies satisfying yata. And up next is oh that level the one with the golden statues which is gonna be another fun puzzle at the end but for now we're gonna start with Indiana Jones again yeah a lot of monkeys are duplicates however Here's a guy that that loves shooting. So home to shots fired marathon meet Clint Eastwood. The fastest gunner of the West. Or best, I guess. <laughs> Not faster than Lukey Luke. So there's a zombie monkey over here and we're not getting him. He is invincible for enemy attacks. However, he's not... Uh, he's not fast, that and... We need this hammer monkey right now. Come on, how could I... Monkey. Anyway, the puzzles are harder. They're saying now what switches I need to hit instead of, yo, hit all of them. So, let's be picky in that case. monkeys and oh no whatever shall I do I don't know what the name is for this kind of artist but here's a monkey that can breathe fire and even cooler here's a monkey that's a scorpion and can fire laser shots in all directions unfortunately he's useless in the he's useless in general in this game Okay, really hard puzzle. Wow, one of these golden statues is actually a golden monkey. And we need him for a certain puzzle. In the background you can see the shapes square and circle which are kind of attacks. And I need to repeat what those monkeys actually did. So circle, square, square, circle. And that's the end of the level. How many shots have we had? 3, 13... Are we gonna count? Uh, let's say... No, I shot an arrow as well. 14 shots. <laughs> Reminder that this is a kid's game. Oh, oh, oh yeah. More shots have been had. This is Blue Monkey. He's actually fast and... In the cutscene that we didn't really uh, show, because cutscenes are not that fast, he's actually having a date with Dr. Aki. And we kind of interrupted that date. So, to get him here we need to shoot him. Uh, wrong monkey, we need to rake him in. And then hit him a couple of times. It is possible to, instead of using a gun, to get like a monkey with a bazooka here and actually damage him. Yeah, shoot his head off. I've had it happen once. But not today.
I like that. Oh. <clears throat> so, with Blue Monkey out of the way and having interrupted his date, I'm going to level 7, which is an annoying one since there's a lot of water in this level. And as you know, water is instant death. Especially for nerds, I mean scientists. By the way, these scientists are like a real big upgrade from the other Apescape games. Normally they have like these squiggly glasses. Where they're like, oh, so smart. And now they... Ooh, almost. And now really boring, they have like these sunglasses. Okay, so we need to go up here real quick. Wait, don't get frozen. I said don't. Again. Okay, this is... This is gonna be a problem a little bit since I need to walk across it and I can't fall. If I die, I lose a life and getting... Getting lives is... Yo, we lost a life. And now we need to do this whole room over again. That's why I wasn't really keen on losing a life with Blue Monkey. It's, eh. Too late. So this level, this game is kind of kind of difficult. And if we game over, well, we have a problem. So I'm gonna buy this life later again. Okay, we get we got past it, so we have now we have three chances to get to the other side, and we got it first try, which is actually pretty nice. So instead of running to this platform, we're just gonna ice the way, make it easy for us. Uh, oh, nice. Okay, so oh, normally we're drowning this mermaid, but she was nice enough to go to us, I guess. And going to the other side. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right here, we're going to be introduced to one of the, uh, the smart scientists with those squiggly glasses. Because he can actually go in robots, which is pretty cool. These robots aren't particularly fast, but they are strong and almost invincible. So I'm taking this corner right here since there's a monk, an enemy that I didn't really hit. There's another enemy that I didn't hit. And we're going out of this robot since walking is faster. However, we still need that robot. And because this is the Sus Fired Marathon. Let's do just that. Just wait until the final battle on level 15, by the way. A lot of shots will be fired. Okay, on to level 8, which kind of lets me think of a giant kitchen for some reason. We start off with another scientist. And if you know the, the Ape Escape games, the yellow monkeys can actually throw bombs. And throwing bombs is not one of the things I'm good at. Whatever, we're, we're fast now. With these conveyor belts. And now we get Crank Monkey. And he can do one thing really, really well. Turn the crank. Oh. And all that does is like, make a platform come closer to us. And yeah, well.
So there's a chef, here's a fire. We're not going for that. Also, she <laughs> don't get hit like in the middle of the crossfire there. Anyway, we're grabbing this green monkey who can shoot rockets. Since I want this blue monkey over here. And he can throw us off. It's awful. I can, if I can just hit him. Okay, nice. So every monkey has his own HP. Like, if you saw it, the green monkey has like one banana left. That means that... If I gonna be the, the green one again, I have one banana there. And if I lose all my bananas in a pit, I will lose a life. But if I get attacked and all my bananas are empty, then I'm gonna lose control of the monkey and I'm gonna be the helmet again. But it doesn't mean that I can take over the monkey again. Also, uh, this level is pretty much free right now. I'm going through the crates. Through this Arnold Schwarzenegger man. Through the final wall and into it. But yeah, in a way... Yo, something happened. I'm getting a, a black for a little bit. Anyway. If you're getting hit and you're thrown off the monkey, you can still get back on the monkey. However, his health will only be one banana. And... That's bad. However, there is some kind of... Uh, yeah. It makes you a little bit invincible, I guess. Okay, this blue monkey. Normally you're supposed to take over one of the monkeys, get the other monkey. Oh, I didn't mash fast enough. So it is possible to like go to that island. However, I don't want to risk it again since lives are limited in this game. So I'm gonna be... I'm gonna do it the developer intended way. I'm gonna get the yellow monkey, I'm gonna get this monkey who thinks he's Indiana Jones, but all he has is like an electrical socket, plug, whatever you call it. Grab the blue monkey. And I love that I'm like uh, naming the monkeys by the. Yeah, by the clothes they wear. I saw a comment earlier about that naming them yellow monkeys is racist. And this is a blue monkey. Well, there... And I've done this before in Ape Escape 2 runs. Called a monkey black mon monkey. And not even just because of that. The monkey actually has sunglasses, a UC. He can't aim for shit, he's like... Actually, we'll see him in a neck in a few levels from now. So, you'll have your gander at him, but yeah. I'm not gonna say an anything more. Other than Yatta! Uh, there's this pumpkin monkey over here. Since it was Halloween like last month. Gonna hide a little bit. Wait for the bunny monkey. So that he can't actually see me anymore. Oh. Great, I was a little bit too far away. And that's actually the reason why I wanted this guy. Yo, he should not be able to see me anymore. Okay, good stuff. There we go, because this monkey can jump real high. And the camera will get like really, really weird when I do that. But it's all good. Anyway, this monkey can fly. Real high, like Cupid. Yeah, actually, this is Cupid. The shoot arrows. However, the arrow shooting is not that important right now. I'm gonna get my ass burnt. Thank you. And since it's your birthday, collect some of these things since I want to buy that extra life after this mission. 
Now we have to lift another cake. And wait, because good stuff is gonna happen. Are we at the top? Since in this house, here, there's none other than our favorite monkey. Santa Claus, chimp. I have no pun for this, I'm sorry. And time for a little auto scroller. However, we're gonna throw empty banana peels to every kid here on earth since, well, Christmas is a holiday about giving, right? Okay, <laughs> enough gift giving. Also, this was Candyland, and Candyland is like amazing. Okay, time for our third boss battle. Did we start talking about Yellow Monkey? And he looks really awful in this game. I really advise you to look at the Yellow Monkeys from any other Ape Escape game. Ape Escape 2 or 3. And there's like a sumo wrestler, a monkey who thinks he's a ninja. And now he's like a chef and he has like really weird, well, he looks, did I just fall off? Nice. He looks weird, let's call it at that. I don't think banana peels count as shots fired, however, if that's the case, then I lost count already. So yeah, we're just gonna make it make it even hotter for pink for yellow monkey. And cut him in pieces. And that's yellow monkey, which is also a pretty easy battle. So now we got this boy back, and real quick, we're gonna make a detour to this machine. I love that, <clears throat> that the loading things are, that's not the right option. But the loading screens are actually so slow. And even that, going out of the menu needed a, a loading screen, like why? <laughs> Anyway, it doesn't matter. Time for the 10th level, which is... I don't actually know how these levels are called, but I call this a golden sky. Since it's pretty much in the sky. And here's another friend of ours. Who looks like the Terminator. And how about... I'm gonna have some shots fired. have a standoff with these cowboys over here. Oh, I got the gifts. So another uh, fire breathing monkey. And another puzzle. Yeah, the puzzles are back. And it tells us exactly which uh, things we need to, uh, yeah, ignite. Unfortunately, they're always the same. So that doesn't help, like, that much. Uh, let me talk a little bit about the other categories in this game. There are two other categories. All monkeys and 100%, or hundo for short. All monkeys is boring, since we can catch all, almost all monkeys, uh, well, the first time through the game. After that, we need to catch the remaining monkeys, which are the monkeys that actually, once you beat any percent, some other monkeys will spawn. Okay, I need to remember these patterns, because if I fail it, I have to do it all over again. Also, yeah, it's the same minigame. 
circle, square, square, circle. But yeah, some every level gets like uh, one or two extra monkeys. So we have to go through the whole level. I don't know if you actually have to finish the level. Hmm, these patterns are luckily not that awful. And especially with like two choices. And 100%, I don't even know what defines 100%. Okay. Indiana Jones again. Shout out to this guy. I mean, I know that it's that there's like all collectibles from the store plus all monkeys plus all time trials. However, the maximum percentage I got is 90%, so I'm missing something. I know that this game has like Oh, I didn't make the jump. So yeah, this is kind of a blind jump, but if you jump from this thing at when it's at its highest, you can safely land there and quickly land on another one for some speed tech. Juicy speed tech. And there I mashed the button a little bit too hard. Heck. Come on, monkey. Or I'll catch you again. I did not press a button there. Yeah, there's a sort of card battle system in this uh, in this game, and it's like really, really weird. Okay, whatever. There's this green monkey. We don't need him. The only reason why we could need him. Is because there's this UFO over here and if we uh, deal damage to the UFO we can actually ride it because of the monkey inside of it unfortunately it's not fast since the exit is already behind there I mean yes yeah, sure it is faster but killing the UFO is like way slower so so we don't do it okay this split is labeled Led Zeppelin because surprise we're on a Zeppelin okay for those who think that Jap uh, Japan is racist well do I have news for you the first monkey that we're gonna see here is a black monkey so yeah you you can say that he looks like a bodyguard a little bit. But look at him, he has sunglasses. He doesn't know how to aim, so he just mass fires his Yuzi. And he has a tie. The tie is good looking on him, by the way. And yeah, immediately after getting the monkey, we need uh, the fly monkey. Oh boy, clever platforming. It almost hit me. Uh, there's this reptile monkey over here. Oh yeah, this is a choice. We can either jump up with the bunny or climb up with with this guy. Well, guess what's faster? I mean, it's even hard to get the monkey. To get the bunny monkey, that is. So, why not? And now we're getting another fly monkey. Think. There we go. And pass these things and into the zeppelin. So there's another Indiana Jones monkey. This level alone already gave me two repeats. Shout outs. Depth perception platforming. It's 
pretty nice. And I miss Cycle, but there is this monkey here. Sweating. Like, we can look at him. He's sweating there. He's just cranking that gear and going in circles. Poor guy. However, we're just gonna let him do his job. Take over his mines. And instead of doing it ourselves, we just let him do it. Like that single thing. This, however, we need to do. And we don't really need to go all the way to the end. Speaking about the end, this is the end. And there's this wolf. Who kicks her butt. But yeah. What the game developers want is like, we need to punch all these blocks until the end and then little by little the platform with ending goal comes closer. However, if you only punch in those two, and with a well-timed jump, we can just make we can just make the jump. So thanks game developers. Right, level 12. Don't remember why, but I call this Spooky Lens. So I'm gonna buy another life, since we're coming up to a level which is really difficult. And unfortunately, we can only buy like one life per level finished. Yeah, so the first monkey we see actually is a zombie monkey, which is slow, so we just ignore him and get this Centaurus real quick. And this Centaurus is actually a mix of two monkeys. Cupid, who can both fly and... Wow, this water monkey actually sealed my faith. And he can run like the wind. So now we get the sea monster, which is a reskin of the mermaid monkey, or the mer monkey. <laughs> it looks funny actually. So let's skip this zombie monkey. Get the bomber monkey, bomber left guy. And, oh no! It's a man with the hammer! Or monkey with a hammer. And there are more puzzles. Or switch puzzles. However, instead of, yo, don't hit this button or hit this button. It's hit a button. While the button is actually up and not down. a uh, girl monkey in the shower. You know what happens there, right? In the movies. She's not gonna make it. It's Jason! Which I like to just give a whack and go about my business. So there's this room, for whatever reason. There's another hammer monkey, which I am gonna take. Since I believe if we don't get this monkey, the next boss battle is going to be really hard. Oh, nice. So about this... Nice. About this uh, room. If you hit, like, the gray ones, you have, like, a chance... Oh, I already got that one. You have, like, a chance of hitting it while it's coming back up. There's this other monkey, who is real scary. He had like a colored mask. There's another mask, just... Wow, double hit. Yeah, this game is kind of trolly. I love how this castle has like two of the same rooms back to back, but one of them has like one more axe. And then there's even the question, why does it have an axe? Okay, that guy is alive, unfortunately. And if we come close to here, there's like Dracula monkey. This guy. 
And Dracula can brief fire. And that's the wrong attack. But that works. And this monkey, just like Cupid, can also fly. Fun story though. Uh, if you actually beat any percent, don't get hit. If you beat any percent and do this level again for completion, there will actually be a Superman monkey there. Okay. It struck midnight. And oh boy, Cinderella is late. And obviously a cutscene where she kicks all of these robot enemies' butts. And this is a really nice place to farm for coins. Since if you don't know how the coin mechanic in Aperscape 2 and 3 goes, basically after 5 monkeys, or uh, 5 monkeys, 5 coins, every coin goes from normal to silver and from silver to gold, and after Another five, every silver thing goes to gold. So it's a really good place. Oh no, it's the old one. The farm. Okay, this is Pink Monkey. And specifically for her, I made an emote. Because this monkey can definitely give you the suck. Don't teleport away. She didn't. We have to do this like four or five times. Until we actually beat her. So she blasts us uh, for here so that the whole stage is set so that we can actually throw this thing on her head again. So if I'm fast. And no. Oh. You know what? Now I'm just messing stuff up on purpose. Don't teleport away. Okay. Yeah. I wish this was Kingdom Hearts. Okay, so now, since we're not blasted back, we just have to beat her up a little bit. Until she resets the stage so that we can throw stage lights on her head again. And, whoa, she's shooting! Well, she knows what day it is. It's time for shots fired. So I'm gonna beat this little kid up again already. However, I'm gonna wait with actually doing that since he's not at the right place. Go pink. Come on, now you're just teasing me, thank you. And there's... There's a new enemy. Yo, that was Pink Monkey already. That was quick. Okay, we got four out of the Freaky Monkey five. Oh yeah, those special boss monkeys are called the Freaky Monkey 5. And yeah, three more levels, one more boss fight, and then it's the final boss. First, level 13. Uh, a level I called... I don't know what I called it. Electricity. <laughs> I don't know why, but I think... I couldn't come up with a better level name. Oh, uh, we actually need this monkey here. So I think underwater is faster than above the water. Even though there's a giant fish here. Yo. Now I need this guy over here. Good on him. And shout out to this black monkey here just shooting shots. Or firing shots rather. Okay, so now I need to catch the, this guy and actually use the attack. Which I did really quick. 
It is possible to get like in an endless loop of being hit. Okay, whatever. Uh, we're going all the way to the back. In here is like the ideal spot for like money since you can get like 410 things per visit. We get this bazooka monkey. Wow, this guy. And now we can fire some more hefty shots, in my opinion. Okay, and we actually didn't need him for stuff. But we need him for the final boss. And actually, or yeah, the final boss. I probably didn't say it yet, but all monkeys we get we can use in the, in the final boss battle. If we don't catch them, we're not getting them. So that's why some monkeys are mandatory since, well, they are mandatory. See the fight for blue monkey. But yeah, really simple. Like electricity monkey can get electricity. Okay, so there are two monkeys here. This monkey can fly or float, I guess. And the other monkey ca can go fast. Oh, uh, now we need to get real quick back on that guy. Yeah, where where do I need to be? Okay, I got the fly monkey. That was weird. And although that guy is faster, over the whole level we can skip. He fell. We can skip a little bit more, making the blue monkey or the flying monkey faster than the fast monkey, if that makes sense. Like, there's another electricity monkey right over there, and normally you, you should be able to, or you're supposed to get him and enable this uh, elevator, I guess. Is that an elevator? A sliding elevator. However, now we can just, like, skip that and fly over and stuff, since stuff is fun. And it's actually easier to catch monkeys while you're not, while you're just a helmet instead of like actually taking over something. However, if you're in an area with a lot of stuff, remember that one hit can and will kill you. Okay, next level, I called it Heights. And the only reason why it's called Heights is since we go up a little bit. This level is so bland otherwise. Yeah, that's, that's one thing. To the end, it's all kind of getting laboratory and... Not distinguishable, I guess? Oh, yo, there's another bazooka monkey that we can actually use. Yeah, this is where we go up. There's this monkey here with super magnetic boots, and we can just walk our way up. And as a friend of mine called him, this is Spider Monkey. He can do anything that Spider-Man does. Can he swing? No, actually he can't. But he can like walk up walls since that's like all that Spider-Man does. Also, I had like a perfect flame cycle there. I like Spider- I like Spider Monkey, but unfortunately... We'll have to make do with like, fake Indiana Jones Monkey right now. So yeah. Like these two go uh, like at the same pattern and speeds, except for that, the last one over here. I'm trying to do it fast. It's not working. Oh, and that worked. That was awful. Okay. So there's this fire extinguisher uh, guy. And you think, oh yeah, we need him. Well, you don't necessarily need him. And there's this... Uh, well, the guy that's actually his mortal enemy. Fireman. Fireman key. Yeah, and this is a guy that we 
do need, unfortunately. Do I need punches? Uh, I don't remember if I need punches. No, I actually don't need this guy. So this is just a large uh, section meant for the robot to swing in. But yeah, the robot is slow. And now we're getting another monkey puzzle. And remember that gold puzzle, which is basically Simon Says? Well, this actually is Simon Says. This is the hardest part in it, uh, pattern it can give us. But even that, even a child could do it. So, more electricity. I love how, the, how he's actually being used. Uh, int introduced in level 13 and he's actually being used in every level after. So, a little fast thing. Instead of being there with the enemies, we can just skip uh, the elevator a little bit. So, yo, I need this guy. Then I need this guy. Since I need the yellow monkey for the, for the boss. It looks so fun, them exchanging the hats. Or no, not fun. But it looks so cute. Oh, we didn't need electricity. I was thinking of level 15, I guess. Yo, I got hit by that guy, almost. And time for another Yatta. Glue? What now? And time for level 15, which is... If you're playing this... Uh, yeah, if this is your first playthrough, this is where you will die. So, this guy. Hey man. How you doing? I think there's another... No, there's no bazooka guy here. Oh yeah, in terms of movement, although jumping looks faster. It's literally the same speed. Okay, there's Mirror Man, we don't need him. There's a green guy, we don't need him. UFO! It's slow if we get him. Since right around this corner already, it's another monkey that we need. Fly monkey. And come now. Shooting shots. Good job. We opened the door. Okay, time for some more electricity puzzles. And th these ones, oh boy. Oh no, wait, spider monkeys first. Wow, this guy just charged into us. He's not getting a postcard for me. Yeah, I'll rip this guy. Okay, I really don't like this monkey. I'm taking this guy off my Christmas card list. I'm gonna make a list just to take him off of it. Okay, the electricity starts again. And this time there are big batteries, which we need to charge. Nice shot. Which we need to five times and those little black areas those those things spawn enemies so we want to watch out however I'm just gonna tank through since why not right okay these things are charged totally the wrong way and now there are three batteries that we just need to charge once it's like, I don't know, but there are a lot of enemies, and we need to, like, survive here. However, if we just stay up here, there's no enemy, not even a flying one, so the cannon will attack us. Oh, wait, I got shocked by the monkey. Whoops. Uh, change of plans. 
kind of. But that monkey, normally I consume him, but I didn't feel the need to. Oh, that's not the right way. But yeah, that guy can attack us, and he did. So yeah, there are like flying enemies here. Can attack us, and again, will attack us. I need this guy for the kind of mini boss in this level. Since he can actually attack really, really quick. And he does more damage than guns. I'm sorry, but guns aren't always a solution. Sometimes a fist, battle, a fist fight is what you need. So yeah, there are these bases here, and they can shoot at you. And shooting a gun is pretty slow. At least the, the monkey. Okay, I'm just gonna blame it on the monkeys. They're not fast. But like, these guys can fire at you and you will die here on your first try. However, the punching monkey and even the hammer monkey are so fast at attacking. Well, first of all, they do double damage in comparison to guns. And second, they attack really, really quick, even so quick that I don't even know what hit him. Like, only this guy is gonna attack me with his lasers. Well, try to at least. And that's the end of the level already. Uh, go back, since I don't want it. Where is the door? Oh, here it is. Heck. There we go. And now all we need to do are two more boss battles. First off, it's White Monkey. And this is also racist. Because White Monkey is, is the smart one. That's, that's actually not racist. And he has like all the gadgets and the web, the weapons and robots. And what are we just gonna do? We're gonna take this monkey and we're gonna shoot at him. He can do free attacks, and only one of them, while we're standing up here, can hurt us. So he takes the gun, gun, gun. No, the boxing glove. Yeah, he, he can't reach that far. The other thing is that he can grab a bomb, which he can roll at us, which can kill us. Or hit us, not necessarily kill. And the other attack is a Yuzi, the same one the Black Monkey uses. And he can shoot all around him, but obviously he's gonna miss. Oh, here it is! Shot fired! Okay, let's end this battle. That's White Monkey. And now we're gonna go straight to Spectre. And... This fight is gonna take some... F uh, how much actually? I think it's gonna take four minutes. There's no health meter anywhere. I don't know when I actually did it. So I'm just gonna abruptly call time. Sorry for guys who's managing the time right now. Sorry, Shadex. But yeah, this is Spectre, and in true uh, Spectre fashion, that was really bad, actually. He's gonna use a robot. Go. And he can he can only do four attacks. Uh, this chest laser, uh, he can punch us, he can shoot rockets at us, and he can shoot minions. And those minions, uh, well, during that, his chest is uh, exposed. Now, then we can actually hit him with melee. That's the only time we can use a melee weapon on him, otherwise we have to shoot. So, this is 
killing all these minions real quick. Okay, let's let's see the bazooka monkey right now. Because bazooka is actually really sexy. There, I there is like I don't want to call it a strat. But you can actually just break off his arms so that he can only do like certain attacks. But breaking the arms doesn't make it any easier. Or any faster, I mean. I mean, easier maybe. Faster, nah. -uh. And these four attacks he's gonna do in rapid succession. Or, yeah, he's not even gonna change the order, it's just 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, heck, we got hit. As you can see, I'm trying to go around the arena in, like, a certain pace. And getting the, like, the melee hammer monkey a certain way. Oh. Okay, let's go back to guns. Since shots fired, right? Yeah, since we can't actually use the melee monkey, we're just gonna retire him until he's actually not a burden. And every time we hit him, he's gonna say the same thing. So. Ooh, quick enough. Oh yeah, again, his attacks are not fast enough. I actually forgot to go for red monkey, so we're gonna skip a cycle. I'm just gonna go kill the minions. Also, yo, banana. But yeah, his attacks are so slow that it, that he is actually that it, yeah he's not capable of killing us in normal circumstances. Oh yeah, apparently getting hit there is so to so worth it. Because shorter attack. Yo, nice. And time, by the way. So yeah, that was uh, Ape Escape, Saru Saru, Big Mission, Any Percent. If you want to go for all monkeys, all you need to do is like go for every level again, catch the remaining monkeys. And which is very interesting credits music. My time is 1.07.02. Which is not that. Which is not bad. However, I'm gonna check how much monkeys we caught. 97. I'm gonna leave you with this music. And next up is Vampire Night by the Boix. Thanks. For Shadex, Chops, Momo and the rest of Shots Fired for having me and this totally not really shooting game. It was a blast and I'm gonna give the mic over to the boys right now. Thank you and enjoy the rest of the marathon.